Hi everyone, it's Friday the 11th of December and it's 11.45 in the evening, so not long left of Friday. Anyway, this is about my third attempt at doing this video because, in fact, earlier this evening I went to edit the footage that I already had and noticed that a very large chunk of it was all out of focus so I couldn't do anything with it. So here I am, third time lucky. Anyway. A lot to get through, so you might want to get comfortable for this one. It's been, what, two months, maybe, since I last uploaded to the channel. Anyway, I've picked up some goodies today to show you. I think I'm probably just going to sell some of it, spares or repairs. Um, but before we get to that, let's talk about what's been going on for the past few months or so and the uh, secret that I've kept from everyone for the past couple of months. So, <clears throat> I know at least two of my eagle-eyed subscribers have seen it. I was on TV on the 2nd of December on Channel 5 on a program called Filthy House SOS. I know at least two of my subscribers have seen that because I've left comments. I left comments on my last video. <clears throat> Anyway, rewind before all of that to about June, July, I can't remember exactly. It all started because my brother, one of my youngest brothers, nominated me for this show. He saw the casting call, I believe, on Facebook for the show, contacted them, and of course they're um, guys that do all the casting, sort, you know, everyone out to go on the show, I can't remember, there's a specific name for them and I can't remember it at the minute, contacted me. And uh, I gave it some thought and I decided to go with it. Um, because really, I needed it, I needed that kick in the ass. I'd even seen comments on some of my videos relating to the state this flat was in, so wasn't healthy, it wasn't pleasant, and in fact it was depressing me, to be honest. And I'd let it get so piled up, I didn't know where to begin, basically. <laughs> I kept putting, cleaning off, and putting it off, and putting it off, you know. And that just made me even more depressed, and I just lost all the motivation, I think. Anyway. So, August is when we actually filmed that episode. It's episode 10, by the way, if you want to Google it, because it's online on the uh, My5 player. So, um, if you just Google Filthy House SOS episode 10, you'll find it, hopefully. If I remember, I'll put a link in the description. If I remember. We'll know what my memory is like. Anyway. So, I think it was it was either the first or the second week of August. I think it was sort of like around the 12th of August. I can remember it was a weekend. They arrived on the Saturday. Or actually, they probably arrived in Norfolk on the Friday because they had to settle into their uh, hotel and whatnot. But they turned up for filming Saturday morning. And literally the first day you just film the basic intro stuff. So it's quite a short day, they weren't here for that many hours. Um, and basically the nitty gritty stuff is then the next three days, they didn't go until Tuesday. Very late Tuesday, it was gone midnight when they left Tuesday night, that was a long, long day. Um, now, usually as they do like three bedroomed homes and whatnot, they would just pick the three worst rooms that need really need to be done. Um, that's actually one of the reasons I didn't expect to be picked for the show, you know. A chubby man living in Norfolk with autism in a one-bedroom flat. I really did not expect I would be the sort of candidate for a show like that, but apparently I was. So, <clears throat> not that I'm complaining, I just, I really did not expect it. Anyway. Because mine is a one bedroom flat, they pretty much did the whole flat, or at least what they could within the four days. 
because you've got to remember with all that cleaning going on you got to work around the two camera people there's actually one lady and one guy uh, as well as the director and you've got to stop for lunch and da 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 da, -da. so <laughs> it's not easy trying to get so much done while working around that lot <clears throat> But uh, it was fun, the crew was great to work with, Brennan and Richard were absolutely great to work with as well, so no complaints, in fact the only complaint I have, and it is only a minor one, is that when stuff was being thrown out in the skip, they do seem to have thrown out um, a good chunk of my video cards. For some reason, they seem to be the only bit of all my computer stock that got thrown away. Oh, and a pot of my um, computer screws. So all those lovely computer screws I spent ages getting together because I'm always using them. I don't have them no more. <laughs> it was a bit of a pain in the friggin' ass, but never mind. Um, yeah, they, they actually kept all the newer video cards, all the PCIe slot cards. But all the older AGP style cards are all gone. Which is a bit of a bummer because I really kept those because I'd use those on my older systems. So but the older XP systems I've got and the Windows 98 systems I decided to keep. I've only got the video cards that are currently in them, so if they die I'll I'd have to go on eBay to buy them. Oh, sorry, I just caught my foot on the tripod leg. So I suppose it's not a big deal, like I said, if I want one I could probably just hop on eBay and find one. Or no doubt I'll come across more old computers in the future that I can steal them from, so we'll see. So, it did tick me off a little bit. I'd rather have been given the chance to actually go through that pile of video cards and got rid of some of the PCIe ones instead, because a lot of those are just simple little... 128 meg adapters rather than video cards, so I could have, you know, spared a couple of those and put in the skip. But never mind. What's done is done. That's, that was actually no. The only other beef, so there's two beefs I had, is involving the Lego because as you would see, or as you will see if you haven't seen it already, the Lego was moved in a storage down to my mum's. Um, and in the process, one of my own creations, one of my own buildings, got broken to at least four sections. And when I mentioned this to some people online, they thought it may have got damaged in transport. But it's a bit hard when you find all four pieces spread about three different boxes. So I was a bit annoyed at that. It actually did take me a long while to... Uh, forgive them for that one but all is forgiven I'm I'm not one that holds grudges so no matter how much I try I cannot hold a grudge although I did hold it for a good month which is, I think is about the longest I've ever held a grudge <laughs> I've got to keep this all um, lubricated up because I've got a bit of a cold. It's not as bad as it was. It is getting better, but still. <laughs> Those that have seen it will have seen me um, well up when we got to the bathroom on the reveal. Those were genuine. Um, and I didn't show, I think it took me <laughs> a good two or three minutes to uh, calm down from that one. Um, and I can remember the guy with the camera you know asked me you were right do you need a minute and whatnot and but then he said i wasn't expecting that one this is after i'd come down and i said neither was i <laughs> i really did not expect that but i think because i'd had so much emotional stress and i was emotionally knackered um i felt so emotionally drained because i've got autism you know and i'd had a very large group of people strange people in my home moving things about for me you know it's it was quite a big step as well as to go on 
camera. I know I've done YouTube. I do YouTube, I should say. But I've never been on camera with anyone. I've never communicated with anyone on camera. It's always just been me, the camera, and the fluff ball that's just gone into the bedroom. I just saw him out the corner of my eye. That's it. I don't have any friends that like being on camera. My Most of my family don't like being on camera. But uh, I didn't like being on camera. It took me a while to... Uh, actually stick the camera on and start making my first YouTube videos. Well, the first ones were of other things. I filmed other things without actually talking on the camera. That did take me a while to um, pluck up the courage to talk on the camera is what I was trying to say. I suck at explaining things, by the way, in case you hadn't noticed. <laughs> anyway, I don't think any more I want to say about the filming itself so I'm going to move on to the tour and then we can stop in the kitchen and uh, just look at some of the stuff in there and come back in here and I've got a few bits in here as well because uh, not only did I get rid of a bucket load of shitty laptops when they were filming I just got rid of a bunch more as well they weren't so shitty though but it's just laptops I was never going to do anything with um, so, I traded with a friend <laughs> for some stuff that I know I'll use. Although I'm not sure about one of them. It could end up being sold. It depends how I get on with it. But we'll get to that in a minute. Um, I think I'm going to pause you for a moment while I take you off the tripod. That's going to be easier to film the tour. So, back in a sec. Alright, so I've got you off the tripod. This tripod wouldn't let me have the camera back the other day. It got stuck somehow. I don't know how it got stuck. It's only a little screw on the top here, but it got stuck. Anyway, let me, I say that word way too much, don't I? Anyway, 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 anyway. If it annoys anyone, I will do my best not to do it. <laughs> but so here's the lounge. As you can see, the Lego is back. And no, I didn't do that video for this channel, did I? I did that for the other one. Um, I do not intend to have any benches in this lounge from this point on. And I was actually toying with the idea of moving. I still want to move at some point. I think I've mentioned this before. I want to get into a bungalow. It's going to be easier for mum because she can't manage those stairs. So it'd be easier for her to come and see me. Plus there's a lot of other benefits. But we'll see. But for now, I was actually thinking of completely rearranging this and putting some sort of table right in front of this window. I think that would be nice. Um... So I've got a table to create on, basically. So I wouldn't mind like an old dining table or something. Then I could stack some of these underneath it. And I did wonder if I could do like a little corner table in there. Just something that I could get another computer chair or something put up here as well. So I can actually sit and create rather than try to f fill up this lounge with a big old Lego city. Um, I did make a few changes. As you can probably see, or those that have seen the episode would see, I changed the stereo. I put this one back um, and moved Nemo's bed. I got rid of the bed they'd gotten because he, Nemo showed no interest whatsoever. So to me, it was just taking up space. So I thought I'd get rid of it to someone whose cat might actually use it. So uh, the other thing I changed was this. Now the end of this cabinet here had two brown wooden shelves on because these are the two from the bedroom that were beside the bed so I had the two shelves on there to put my alarm clock and things on I took those off as you can see and then butted this one up against it and put a couple of screws in to hold it in place and uh, I'm really surprised that no one's noticed that these are wall cabinets from a kitchen <laughs> they've just got no doors on them it's just the shelves and uh, yeah, that is it. I mean, you can see down there, I think, somewhere, where the um, holes are for the hinges, door hinges. Yeah, these were just some kitchen cabinets I rescued and uh, been using them as, like, shelves. I did wonder why, because I did say they could throw these smaller ones in the skip, but he didn't. Richard didn't. He wanted to keep them. I wondered why. <laughs> but when he'd done this, I thought, I actually quite like that idea, so... I took the shelves off, like I said, but that one up. 
I've got the PS1 and PS2 and I've got an Xbox 360 on the top there as well. Those three are connected. The uh, Mega Drive isn't at the minute. And I've also got the Sony DVD player connected and the v, um, VCR player. VHS player, whatever. I'm so old I've forgotten what they're called apparently. Because <laughs> all my games were in the bedroom as well. I did change the TV. I put my one that they took out of the bedroom and put in here. But that back in the bedroom and I pinched this one from Mum's uh, summer house. I always have to stop and think about what that is. You're really getting too old for doing things like that, aren't you? But uh, as you can see, it is being kept clean. I can do a bit of vacuuming. I can do that tomorrow, not a problem. Can't really do it this time of night. Here's the hallway. I will do a video on this big control box as well. I'll save that for another video. Here's the bedroom. That is going downstairs tomorrow. I had to get into the shed to shunt a few things around and rearrange the bikes in there anyway. Because uh, I was down at Mum's and she's planning to move next year. I thought I'd better bring some of the bikes back this way. So, uh, as someone decided to knock the uh, camera down from above my shed door, and this was locked up outside, and I really do, <laughs> this is my pride and joy, this bike, I thought I'd bring it up here temporarily. I didn't trust it out there after that. More Lego storage tubs over there. This is just storage. I've got a lot of my models in these tubs there. Two tubs of instructions and just some random tubs of random bits there. TV, tree, some laptops, <laughs> small laptops, but nowhere near as many as there were. More laptops and motherboards actually. Oh, I have to get on the ladder and pull that off of there. But uh, yeah, it's uh, remaining clean. But the question is, have I kept the bathroom and kitchen clean? <clears throat> My voice is disappearing. I don't know why, but Nemo's creating a fuss. Alright. Let's turn the light on. Ta da! There it is, look. Got to send the rug for washing when that goes. I'll just put it in there. That did annoy me. They called this my wardrobe. No, it was my dirty laundry bin because I had nowhere else in the flat to put it. <laughs> but uh, it's all been kept clean. There's the new mop and bucket I got. I've actually got two mops. That one was free. Oh, my mirror needs a clean. I'm all water sprayed up that somehow. That's a new addition I put in the um, shaver light. Whee! Just because I could. Here's the kitchen. Ooh. That door I want to put back on there. Uh, I keep meaning to do it, but I keep forgetting. I think the screws, I think they put them in that drawer. And, uh, that's burn mark, so that ain't going to come off. And that is where they cheated because they bought a couple of these sort of chopping board things and covered up. It's like a mark there. That won't come off either. I've tried. I don't even know what the hell that one is. But anyway. <coughs> oh, pardon me. There's the utensil pot they got me. They're only cheapy things that they got. But two of those pots they got me. Four of these mugs. And the mug tree, teapot, kettle. Oh yeah, those two boards. There is another chopping board somewhere, a white one. But, you do have food and stuff in the cupboard. <laughs> I will have another cupboard free, but I need to rearrange these ones. I've still got shit in there. But uh, I'm going to try and move a lot of these light bulbs out of there. I need to rearrange that when I've got some paperwork to sort and whatnot. Because I would like to get that one emptied and 
perhaps move the spare bulbs and stuff to that cupboard and in fact maybe I should make a box up that I can put in here which actually have usable spare bulbs in it not just random bulbs <laughs> that might be a better idea so I've got plenty of organizing to do I'm going to probably do that Sunday right try and do this bit free-handed as well so there's a the grand tour it has been kept clean I didn't just do it for the sake of going on TV you know I did it because I wanted to improve right so that was the grand tour so on to the goodies so a friend of mine contacted me today saying or asking if it was okay to pop up lockdown's over now so he can we can have six here in my flat it was only me and him so all's good there anyway <clears throat> he popped up and he bought a load of stuff with him looking to trade like he does every now and again which is fine by me um, I managed to offload a bunch of laptops onto him as well so not only did a bunch go in the skip by the way all the ones that did get skipped were just old shitty ones that I didn't really want it sort of gave me the kick in the butt to um, get those sorted because I've been meaning to do it for ages it was another one of those things I kept putting off and putting off anyway I did get a few uh, good bits and pieces a few bits here I'm not sure I can do anything with such as an iPhone here which he think could be bricked which means it's going to be neither use nor an ornament really and some the back to an iPhone <laughs> I really have no idea what I'm going to do with this at all it's interesting to look inside this though um, apparently he was trying to replace the screen and it just didn't go well as you can see it really didn't go well so I think I'm just going to bin this bit I don't know if that's worth selling as spares or repairs. Like I said, I don't. There's no charge in it. And I do not have a charger for an iPhone, so. I'm actually going to be um, going to my youngest brother's new flat tomorrow, so I might take that with me because he's got an iPhone. See, I don't really mind Apple products. It's just the company I despise. And the way they, you know, do their business these days. That's what I despise. Anyway. First, good item. And this is fully working. It's a little Nintendo 3DS XL. All working. He um, formatted it because it had all his data and everything on it. Um... Now it's been set up for me. I've never been one for handheld games, but to be honest, I've never really used them or done anything with handheld consoles. So I'm going to give this one a chance, I think. A couple of games on here. There's Sonic Chronicles uh, and Brain Training. It always seems to be one of those sort of cheaply ones that are always thrown in for free. Nobody ever wants them. But it did come with a charger as well. Here's the cable and the chair is actually on the cable. It's going to do that a world of good, isn't it? Well, pardon me. So, yeah. Oh, and it did come with this little game card thing. It's got a 2 gig SD card inserted into this. And apparently you can download games to an SD card, put it in this, put it into your... 3DS and it will um, play whatever game you select from that SD card apparently um, but he said he could never get it to work and he didn't really have the tools and software and whatnot to do it so it's also a spare DS battery as well that's not blowing so that must be a good one now the only other two items here in the lounge to show you the rest are in the kitchen as you got a glimpse of a minute ago, are these two PCs here. Well, I should say PC. That is a server. This big Dell here. 
And we've got this Dell Precision T3500 here as well, which uh, he's told me actually has an i7 in it. So, might build that up as a secondary PC. In case this one goes tits up for whatever reason. That server, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it because I've already got a good server down here. So, I don't know. <laughs> to be honest, I really don't know what to do with it. Um, that's just basically thrown in. Hell, if things are going to be given to me, I'll accept them. <laughs> um, so I might take it apart for some spares and then get rid of the case. I don't know. But uh, he did tell me the other reason he's trading this lot is because he tried putting it up on Facebook as a job lot and selling it as one job lot and no one was interested, so... Right. Kitchen. Again. Oof. I think I know why Nemo was creating a fuss now. Stinky soap. over the tripod. Right. right, I've got a handful of bits in here as well. So, PS3 doesn't work. Don't know if it did work. All he told me was that the ribbon cable for the power button is missing, so that don't work. And he took the uh, CD drive out of it to fix his. So I'm guessing he picked this up you know, cheap and just wants a few bits out of it. So, it might work. I am tempted in the new year to see what one of these will cost as spares or repairs and uh, see if I can make a good one out of two. They ain't too much. Right. I've also got some uh, tablets. My brain decides to work tonight. Two of these Nexus by Asus. This one, I th actually I think both of these have seen better days. There's one heck of a gouge in the screen there and there. So they would need new screens if I fixed them. One of these is dead. I've tried to charge it and nothing happens. Which could be due to this impact. And they've obviously been impacted quite hard, especially that one. Several times. I think that one's been done deliberately, don't you? You can see those. That doesn't look like something that was done accidentally. They actually look like, you know, a couple of punch mark, punch, puncture marks. Um, I think, I think it's this one that actually does charge. But all you get on the screen when you press the button is a flash. That's it. It just flashes and goes off again. So. These are both um, Nexus. That one's got a slightly different back, so I don't know if one of these is slightly newer than the other. But uh, I don't think they're going to come to anything, to be honest. This one I can't get to do anything either. It's got a big crack across the screen there. Uh, followed by a big crack there, which comes from the charge port. Which might be the problem, for all I know there's quite a bit of damage around by that charge socket as well. Maybe that got damaged and it's not taking a charge and that's why this one's not working. But uh, I'd have to find out how you take this apart, if it's possible. And uh, apparently it is. Sort of. <laughs> well, it doesn't work, so if I break it and mess it up even more, it doesn't matter, does it? lost anything. Right, next thing is this teeny tiny little computer. Isn't it lovely? And it does boot um, power up. I haven't got an OS on it so I don't know if it will boot yet but apparently it's got Windows 7 sticker there. Put that hard drive in just to see if it will do anything at one boot from it. So I'm going to use that for something else. I'll find a different hard drive that I can put in here and stick windows on. I'll have to use my external CD drive I think. 
Yes, a couple of the cupboards I've got computer bits back in, but I've got stuff all else to put in them, so doesn't really matter. There is only two of the cupboards now. Out of like four or five. <laughs> so yeah, that does work. I'm gonna do something with that. Now this Xbox 360 does work as well, and it's the Star Wars one. See? So every time you turn it on, what not, it plays the R2D2 sound. Um, now it did work when he showed me it earlier, however, the issue involves this, the power brick. Um, he says it's very, very intermittent with the problem, which is the worst bloody problem to troubleshoot. Um, sometimes it will just stop working. And you'll have a red light come on there to indicate an issue. Um, it didn't earlier, thankfully it did work. Uh, he said he's opened it up, he's cleaned it all out because it's full of fluff. That does look like I'm going to need a torque screwdriver to get into this myself. But it just seems to just cut out at random. He said he could play it for like two or three days and that might cut out. He said he could play it for a week and then this will stop working. It's just it's very random and very intermittent, so I'm going to open this up at some point and just have a look to see if I can see anything myself. Like some bad caps, any obviously bad caps. But uh, apparently these are not that expensive to buy as a replacement, so I'll probably end up doing that. But uh, other than that, this does work. I actually quite like this as well. There's no hard drive, but I have got one being held for me in a uh, little shop in town, so... 20 quid, I think they want for 500 gig for this. Unfortunately, I don't have a power supply here for this. Mine are different, because mine are older. The other Xbox 360 is older than this one. So the uh, plugs are different. I think. I'm actually going to double check that. But I am pretty certain that's different. Right, so I'm going to turn this off. I don't need that one now. And we can head back to the lounge. Yep, I don't know why I tilted the camera back like that, because I was going to pick the tripod up. Duh. Right. I'll take my. Yeah, I did. I had to stop and think if I actually took my diabetic meds earlier. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. So, I actually think that's it. Whoa, I've been taking my head off the camera shot. There we go. I think that's it. Like I said, a bit of a long one, but it has been a while. So uh, I'm going to leave the video here, I think. I don't think there's anything else to mention. Nope. Oh, I will be doing a video on some barricade lights next weekend. Um, on account of, two of them are currently being held <coughs> at the post office until I pay the um, customs charges. Which I can't do until next week, so... Yeah. <laughs> They're here in the UK, I just can't get them yet. Never mind. I hold up your parcel for 20 days anyway. Um, that's well within 20 days next week, so... Actually, it wouldn't even be seven days, to be honest. Nope, just over seven days. I'm telling lies. So, uh, yeah. Thanks a lot for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you again in the next one. Bye. Bye. And my voice stops disappearing.